Hey guys, how you doing this evening? This is uh, Dave out here doing a little training run here. It's getting late in the season. It's mid-September here in Central Virginia. Um, and my season ended sooner than I thought it would, earlier than I was prepared for it to uh, end. The Y Island Regatta got, I think, indefinitely postponed this year. Usually that's uh, around 11th or 12th of September. And I was thinking about heading down to Kentucky to do the Cumberland River Challenge, and uh, we just got word a couple weeks ago that that has also been postponed until spring. Um, I guess they have a lot of trees down across that river. Uh, so in the interest of safety, they're postponing the race. So I thought I'd have a couple races in here in September, and they kind of evaporated. So I'm, I've kind of eased into the off season before I was prepared to. Um, and we have not had a good soaking rain here in Central Virginia for at least a couple months. So our rivers are really low and dry. Um, there hasn't even been a whole lot of uh, runnable water. I hit uh, the James River on Labor Day, um, and that was pretty low and bumpy, and that, that's the kind of the biggest river we have. So it's kind of a disappointing end of summer, um, early fall. But I just wanted to say a couple things here. I think everybody's pretty much figured out the internet at this point, but just in case those uh, few people are out there, uh, nothing really happens on the internet unless somebody is making a little bit of money on it. I don't work for any boat manufacturers or uh, I have no financial interest in, in promoting any of the stuff that I talk about. I just love kayaking. I want to introduce people to the sport and I just want to share my experiences on how I got started and how I progressed up through the sport. Um, but ways you can help, click the like button on the video you're watching right now. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, that helps spread the word. Um, that's as good as giving me a dollar or two if you'd be willing to do that. Um, I'm going to talk about a few products that I've incorporated into my training, and I will put links to them below um, through my Amazon Affiliates account. It won't cost you anything extra, but if you buy it, I think I get 1% or 2% of your purchase, so that'll help me out as well. Okay, in my regular training out on the water, the one uh, fitness tracker that I use here is the AmazeFit BIP. I use this because it's got a really good battery. The battery life is at least 30 days. And uh, the screen is, it actually gets easier to read in bright sunlight. And it's, uh, it's great for the GPS track. So when I'm out on kayaks or doing races, this is the device I use, usually mounted either, either to my foot pedal or on my life jacket. Um, just because I don't like the tan line. I have a little vein like that. Um, but the Amaze Fitbit, this is my go-to watch for uh, tracking GPS tracks and uh, seeing out on the water. Um, in, in the gym, I still use the Atlas Wearables 2. I haven't found anything that beats that thing yet, so uh, it tracks my, my weight and my reps and progress over time. St I love that tracker, so I'll drop a link to the Atlas 2 below. Um, and then the one I use for recovery and sleep tracking is a really obscure brand called the More Pro HRV. It, um, oh, here comes pedaling buddy Dave. It's the, uh, it takes the heart rate variability as you sleep, and that More Pro HRV by far uh, does the best job of tracking sleep and recovery uh, that I've come across. All right, I see pedaling buddy Dave's emerging uh, down the hill here. So I'm going to sign off for now and uh, get back to you in a little bit. You want to say hi, Dave? Hi, Dave. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Okay, guys, that was paddling buddy Dave. Uh, we just got done with our workout. I did about 11 miles on the water here. Uh, if you don't know, if you have, haven't met paddling buddy Dave yet, go back, watch some of my videos, read my blog at davethekayaker.com, uh, and you'll see he's my partner in crime. Um, what was I getting to before we finished off that workout? I think where I was going uh, is that my season ended a little bit earlier than I thought it would for racing season. I'm going to go on Paddle Guru tonight and see if there's not another race somewhere on the East Coast that I can get in here at the end of September or October. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm ready to be done yet. Um, but give me ideas. What gear would you like me to review? Uh, sometimes I can reach out to these companies and uh, get a review unit for you. So let me know what you're interested in incorporating in your kayak and surf ski training. In terms of boats, I think I've gone about as far as I can with boats here. Uh, this is the first time in a long time I don't have a next boat in mind. Um, here, landlocked in the U.S., you know, the, we use surf skis differently than, than other people use surf skis. The, the guys who do the downwind stuff, ocean surfing, which skis are designed to do, 
that's an entirely different sport. Um, and most of those manufacturers don't really understand uh, the needs for guys like me. Well, we need a really tough, durable boat, uh, need something with an overstern rudder, and we need something we're not afraid to put it into an environment where we know we're going to bash it into rocks. Uh, so really, I feel like the, I think Stellar has done the best job in terms of manufacturers, in terms of recognizing to do a tougher layup with an overstern rudder. Um, but with, with that SEL that I just paddled, I think I've got about as far as I can go in surf skis for my needs. Um, so, I, you know, maybe the Stellar SCA, but, you know, that's going to give me marginal returns and be, you know, about the same boat that I have now um, in the SEL. And plastic, you know, there's the Epic V7, there's the Nilo 510, and there's really nowhere to go from there in plastic either in terms of speed and downriver racing. Um, years ago, Cobra made the Eliminator. It would be interesting to see if I could get my hands on one of those boats, but Cobra's out, you know, they sold their business. I don't think they're even making that boat anymore. Uh, Spirit had the PRS. Those are hard to find. Um, so I don't think there's anywhere to go in plastic either. So if you've got ideas for a, a boat for me that you'd like to see me review, uh, let me know. Let, put it in the comment below, um, either on the comment section on this blog page that you're on, or if you're watching the YouTube video, put it right in the comments of the video. Let me know what boat you'd like to see, and preferably, uh, if you know a dealer or a manufacturer associated with that boat, let me know if they can, if they're willing to work with me to work out some sort of deal. So financially, it makes sense for me to get my hands on it uh, and do a review. But as of right now, I have no plans uh, for next boat. I think actually what I'm going to do is start looking at the older stuff, some of the vintage boats, and uh, re-exploring some of those. There's some great stuff on the market right now. I'm finding some old West Side boats um, for sale for you know, several hundred dollars, five, six, seven hundred dollars, and honest to goodness, in full Kevlar, those boats are probably, <laughs> we've come full circle. That's the kind of boat now that would be a next logical step for me. Something that's affordable, tough, durable, but, you know, if I bash it into some rocks, I'm not going to care so much because I'm not going to have thousands of dollars into it. Um, maybe it'll be repairable, um, but, you know, Anyways, let me know. I'm kind of lost for ideas here. I don't want to bore you over the winter with just a whole bunch of my training and gym stuff. I think uh, nobody really cares about that. I watch the statistics and I see who's watching and commenting and you don't care what I'm doing in the gym. So I'm going to shy away from that here in the off season. So give me ideas. What products would you like to see reviewed? What subjects would you like to have covered? I can maybe try to get an expert in um, and get them to comment on whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I've got a bit of a network going now. People tend to know this blog and know what I'm all about. Um, and they're happy to help me promote the sport. So let me know your ideas, what you'd like to see, what you'd like to hear. Uh, I know since the last time I was on this side of the camera, my, my trainer, uh, Vinny Tortorich, released his movie, Fat, a documentary. Um, again, I'm not, I'm, I guess I am plugging the movie, but I've not got no interest in that. I, just, I thought it was a fascinating movie from the point of view for health and fitness. Um, and how the U.S. dietary guidelines essentially got everything all wrong when it comes to fat. So that movie, Fat, a documentary, is definitely worth your time. Check it out. It's available anywhere you would buy or rent a movie online. Give me ideas. Leave a comment. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Let me know what you'd like to see, what topics you'd like me to cover, and I'll do my best to bring them to you. All right, until next time, happy paddling.